we have our own little, you know, gentlemen of the FGC group because, you know, the women created so they can do their own stuff. So we can't, why can't we have our own thing? Well, no, actually, the, 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 believe it or not, I think that, you know, because that was created by <clears throat> Beef Uteki and, and partners. Yeah. Um, and I actually kind of like that because it, by calling people gentlemen, except for CD Jr. with his fish sticks in his dick, um, yeah. he's the only one that came in there and was like, I mean, they like, you know, introduce yourself, you know, and it, it helps with networking beyond the game. And that's really what I think they were they were looking for. And that's mm -hmm. why when, you know, Adonis was talking about the women's group, I'm like, let them have their women's group. If they want to talk about, you know, how to do nails the best or, you know, that, I know that sounded chauvinistic, how to fucking take an <laughs> engine out of a car, you know, um, that's fine. What the yeah. gentleman's version of it was, was, you know, hey, Bobby, you know, you introduce yourself. You, oh, you do networking? Well, you know, I do, you know, uh, uh, you know, routing. So, you know, maybe, you know, if, we, if you got something going on and I got something going on, it's a way to convey and network with one another. Right. And at the same time, try to basically say, like, you know, um, I'm not going to invite only top people into this group. I'm going to invite the people that I think are serious about it that actually want to, um, you know, try and grow this scene. Now, you know, little Billy from Boise, Idaho has gone to 25 tournaments in the last two years, but not one fucking person knows who he is mm -hmm. because he goes 0-2 and, and he's standing around these tournaments, pardon my French tricky, with his dick in his hand and nothing to do. You know, because he, he he doesn't have anything. He don't know anybody, but he likes to go. So now it's, hey, you know what? You seem like an all right guy. Come in here, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Tell us what you do. And next time you go to a tournament, go, oh, fuck, you know what? You're that dude, Bobby, that's in the group. Right. You, know, you know, so it's a good way of networking. And I actually think it's a good thing. But yeah. if it was an answer to like the women, then I'd be like, all right, that's just some some emo twenty, you know, seventeen year old bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah well, in, in in the whole group, I'm pretty sure that I mean I've been reading through like all the introductions, and I'm pretty sure that we are all trying to work towards like a common goal. But the question here is like, how do we how do we use that as like I don't know how many people are actually in the group, but it's it's relatively a small number in this community. But how do we use that? And become collective and like you know be able to speak out against all the loud voices all the bad and ill will that's that's in this community like how do we get to the point where you know we're like hey dudes you know we should probably stop this this is the way that things kind of need to be if this community is to prosper i mean it, it, you know that's one of the things, because, you know, I know Mark, you know, Mark Man's in the group. There's other people that are, you know, some known players, you know, top mm -hmm. players are also in the group as well. You know, and this is something that collaboratively guys got to turn around and say, look, all right, you know, I read off what the Ten Commandments of this fucking this, this scene should be um, that came from albino gigonosis. And... It, it's basically a fundamental thing that's got to get pushed. You know, if people don't push it, I'm going to talk to Eric about it. You know, and it's things that I know Eric would agree with. He don't want to see 13 guys in a room because it makes him look bad. You know, a lot of guys don't, you know, I know people have, you know, given Eric shit here and there and other tournament organizers as well. But what people don't seem to understand is... They hear shit when we're all home from the hotel. Well, this hall smelled like weed. This one has fucking piss stains on the wall. You know, they're hearing shit like that. These guys never took a towel, you know, never threw a towel out and didn't let housekeeping in the whole weekend. You know, and that's stuff that makes these hotels say, what a bunch of disgusting fucking animals. Wait, and people go to tournaments and do that? That's disgusting. That's yeah, that's that happens. I mean the fire alarm got pulled over it at, at NEC this year. Wow. You know, I mean that's you know, that's some serious shit. 
see, and that, that's the question that I want to ask. Like, how how do we have like potential, like maybe like potential partners or sponsors or any anything beneficial to this community? How do we let them kind of not even see past it, but say that you know there is kind of a light at the end of this really long and dark tunnel? Like, there there is a hope for this community because all, all this bad things that are that are happening, it, it's just kind of like negating all the stuff that you know we try to do like we try to start a movement about this stuff and then it just gets completely tarnished by just dumb people like how do we get past that you know well, these, I, mean, I mean these same dumb people are a part of the community so i mean it's it's hard it's hard to just say you know don't let these particular people come or because you really don't know who it is some some of those times right like i like i remember um final round I think it was fine around eight. Um, no, not eight. It was thirteen. Uh, no, it's fine around eleven. I'm sorry. Uh, somebody they were stealing sticks. Like somebody they they were stealing sticks ridiculously. And this is this is back in the match the the mind stick days when you know the, the sticks were like as big as a fucking drawer to your dresser. Right. So <laughs> you know you weren't just running off with a mind stick you know that easy you know you had to you, you had to really you put work in on getting that out. Yeah, you, yeah you had to put, you had to put work in. And uh, I remember Larry, um, because it wasn't just like some shit where oh you know somebody stole a stick and you know it went unknown you know Larry stopped the whole fucking tournament. And grab the mic, grab the megaphone or the microphone, or whatever. And, uh, about it, like. You're fading away on that mic. Yeah, you're breaking oh, up. I can't oh. hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 He, he was like, uh, you know, I don't know who took the stick. He said, but um, if you if you bring it back now, he said we're gonna act like it didn't happen. So on and so forth. He said if that stick don't come back, and you know, X amount of time goes by and somebody sees you with it, then it's not going to be good for you. I'm not going to, you know, give all the quotes. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's 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 how Larry addressed it back then. And um, I would also like to say Larry had had the biggest, the, the staff for the biggest dudes I've ever seen in any tournament. So if they did, you know, find the dude who had a stick, it was going to be bad for him because all those dudes were like, Six five, six six. Six, Did you ever get the stick back? You know what? I think I think they may have, but it was a lot of sticks being stolen. A whole lot. Oh shit. It was a whole lot. And somebody that I came with actually uh got these sticks stolen. Um he had he had his stick stolen too. And uh it was the funniest thing was because, you know, it was my room and shit. Mm. Um I came back up to the room, and I see like six mastics in my room that I've never seen before. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, whose sticks are these? Oh man, they're still in our sticks, man. So we're gonna start stealing their sticks. I'm like, take the fucking sticks back downstairs now. And I made them return all the fucking sticks that they took and put them back in the same place. That's that's how ridiculous it was that people started stealing sticks in retaliation. It was it was it was literally like six sticks in my room that I've never seen before. I mean, you know, reality is this, you know, and you guys have gotten the blame for it just for the name of corn. Well, and this is this is this is way years way. Before I'm saying I'm before. saying yeah, roll yeah. forward. I remember the apex, yeah, yeah. you know, the yeah, yeah, apex yeah. thing where they were like pointing fingers at you. And let me tell you something. It's that skinny ass fucking white dude that can slip in and out of the crowd. Stop fucking saying it's got to be a black man stealing shit. White men got stickier fingers than black men. Just based off of that story alone, you know I don't condone stealing. You know what I mean? That's why I say I told them take them fucking sticks back. I don't care if they stole. You're fading out again. Oh shit! That's what happened. I start walking around. Uh, I, like I said, I believe in karma. So, you know, just because, you know, somebody stole your shit or whatever, whatever, I mean, they'll get what's, what's coming to them. Don't go around, you know, stealing other people's shit because you can't find your own shit. Yeah. No, I you mean, know, two wrongs don't make a right unless you're punching somebody in the face. Then that's a different yeah. story. Yeah. yeah I don't, that's I don't, quite I don't, a business. <laughs> I, I, I hate thieves. I hate thieves. I don't, I don't like people that, that steal shit. That shit no, I don't, I, don't, I don't like thieves and I don't like sneaks. Sneaks are worse, yeah. though. Sneaks are worse than thieves because sneaks are fucking... Sneaks are the ones that fucking come in the, while you're sleeping and steal your shit. 
I don't know, man. To, to stop the thieves and the people that just that just do ridiculous shit. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess we have to have a, a snitching policy in the, in the in the FGC. I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, what what other way is it to to co combat it? I mean. I, I, I mean, look, you know, I, I mean, it's going to save that motherfucker from getting his ass whooped. Yeah. You know, I'd rather turn around and say, look, T.O. organizer, you know, it's up to you. If somebody rats him out, then you know what? If that's what it takes the police to see, him, then so be it. You know, I mean, it sucks that it's that it's at that point that we, you know, we're, we're supposed to be a bunch of grown men and women. And again... I'm not saying, you know, women are thieves, but, you know, I'm just throwing it up there. It could be anybody. You know, stealing shit at a tournament, that's worth a hundred bucks. Is it mm -hmm. worth getting locked up? Yeah. You know, is it worth getting locked up for a hundred bucks? You know, and, and, and people don't understand that. And I remember, I don't know who it was, but somebody, somebody had an audio recording, I guess about two years ago, somebody... I think they were up in Canada, maybe, or Evo, that got caught stealing a stick, and, like, they took care of them, you know, they were taking care of them the whole time there, and then they wound up getting caught stealing a stick, and they basically humbled the shit out of them, recorded them, you know, dropping them off at a bus station to go home, and said, you're shit out of luck, and, um, you know, and that was two years ago, and shit still hasn't changed. Shit yeah. still, nobody, you know... People that steal shit are fucking grimy motherfuckers. Yeah. You know, they shouldn't be... They sh it should be a lifetime ban from any tournament. That motherfucker's mm -hmm. name goes into a fucking hat with his picture, a goddamn digital picture, passed on to everybody. So every T.O. Yeah. says, nah, you know what? This guy ain't coming in. Yeah, that's that's like when we were at fucking... Uh, Bobby, you remember we was at uh, Season Beatings uh, Ascension? Oh, you're talking about uh, when they stole uh, Antoine's old stick? Yeah, man, that shit. That shit was fucking crazy. Yeah, like, I mean, it's, I just don't get it. Like, and we got that stick back. Oh yeah. Yeah. We got oh, it was in the back. KOF room. Yeah, that shit was like like first forty eight, man. You know, that shit was like forty eight for real. You know, now now it's like you know that's that's an issue. Like I said, the thirteen guys in a room. Look, I know you guys want to be cheap fucks. You know, if you had a job, you know, and this is another thing that I'm going to hit on with you, you know, you've broken balls about that. If you had a job and you had money, and I don't mm -hmm. care if you're if you're a top player and you're making money, all the fucking power to you. That's mm -hmm. your that's your job. Yeah. Don't get it twisted where we're saying you know everybody and their mother you know is lazy if they're just playing games. If you're making money doing this, all the power to you. But yeah. then don't be a cheap fuck if you're not one of those top players and try to squat 30 guys in a room. I remember at ECT two years ago, you know, the Mortal Kombat community showed its true colors by making Swift Tom Hanks sleep on the floor of the garage. Damn. And he's the motherfucker that paid for the room. Now, that's because he kind of went a little soft on people i mean i i walk around with a pdp stick i'll make you see the white light motherfucker you pretend you're sleeping in my bed yeah that's crazy if they he paid for it and they made him sleep on the floor see my dad my dad's old school and he's always been you better pay your way and like we i've had friends where we would go on trips out of the state parks and if they didn't have money my dad would say sorry you can't come you know what what happened with this guy though was even worse because he said, like, all right, guys, I got a bag. You know, I'm, uh, you guys can crash in my room. He was being cool to them. Wow. He comes back to the room, and somebody's sleeping in his bed. Yeah, that's yeah. And he up. And he does, uh -huh. the, he does the, 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 I'll wake him up. And, uh, and, that's, and that's another reason I don't fuck with people that's, that's not family. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, like um, amongst us. You know, everybody, everybody not rich. Somebody, somebody may have a bad month, bad week, and they may not have enough money to get to a tournament or whatever. You know, everybody, everybody got. You know, they deal with their life issues. You know, we'll 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 spot somebody money. Not even spot. We'll give them money to go. You know, don't even don't worry. Don't even worry about paying this back. You know what I mean? Because I just want everybody to be there. That's that's the way I feel. I like I like going to tournaments with everybody. I like going to tournaments with the whole team. 
And when it comes to that, I mean, money money really is an object. You know, when it comes to memories and and just being around your friends and shit like that, you know, you can't you can't put a value on that. No. But yeah. for some random motherfucker that I don't know, I need that money. You know what I mean? And that's that's why I just don't deal with unknowns. You know what I mean? No, it's understandable. You want to surround yourself with uh, people you trust and not just let people in. It's understandable. Like uh, that's like here growing up since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make my dad sound like he's a hard ass, but uh, like we had. Uh, I mean, since I was a kid, I remember I called this the refugee house because I've had family like my whole life staying here. Like I got my little cousins staying here, and uh, I'll buy them games or get them food or whatever, and then. Over the years, I've had so many different people come live in and out. Like, we have a spare room in the back that we built just because of it. So, I mean, I do. I uh, Like, even I used to skate, and we had buddies that would, uh, their parents, they didn't have both of their parents, or one of their parents would beat them or whatever. And I remember they would even stay with us. So, I mean, I get it. You know what I mean? You just want to surround yourself with uh, people you trust and not just, you know, they come in and, like you were saying, they start stealing stuff and bringing it back to the room room or whatever yeah definitely it's understandable you know and it, and, and it's you know an, another thing you know the bathing thing you know what does it take to fucking listen i don't give a shit i don't care if you you know in new york we call it a fucking puerto rican shower go take some motherfucking axe body <laughs> spray and spray yourself down with it i don't give a fuck but sticking like sticking like ass is ridiculous <laughs> you know, it's 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 fucking ridiculous. I'm going. You got to be kidding me! I said, you come to a tournament. First of all, you kiss and tell motherfuckers want to blame the girls, but you're the motherfuckers that go around kissing and telling. And then you're upset when when you know your buddy hooks up with a girl and you get nothing. Well, maybe if you fucking put soap in your ass crack and clean the shit, you might have a chance. <laughs> you know, it, and and they you know don't tell me it's a fucking technique. That you want to stink like ass when you play against somebody so they don't play as good, you know. Hey, that's happened to me before. Yeah, I don't want. I, I don't see a Rod. Well, now that he's retired, I didn't see a Rod say, "You know what? I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not gonna fucking wipe my ass and take a crap every day for like the next two months. This way, when I play Boston and I get up to bat, the catcher can't even <laughs> stand there. You know. I mean, it's it. You know, if you want to be considered a sport. Whether it's eSport, A-Sport, The Sport, whatever, then you need to act like fucking professionals. Because that's exactly what professional athletes do. You know, and, and, and the fact that you won't bathe, you know, has nothing to do with eSports. It has to just do with being hygienically sanitary. Yeah. You, you know. Human. Human, exactly. Being a fucking human. I mean, I don't, I don't see it. If you're at a tournament, then you ain't living in the backwoods of fucking Louisiana where there's no running water. So you know how to bathe. You just choose not to bathe. You know, so, I mean, that shit's got to stop. You know, there's so much stuff in this scene. You know, I mean, look, I've, I've reached across the aisle with olive branches to James Chen and Ultra David numerous times. Just to have my hand slap back into my face, which is fine. But the fact that you want to lie to people and tell them how you care about the community when all you are is a California clique of guys that when one person says don't talk to this person, you all follow like mindless fucking puppets. That's your choice. You know, but don't white knight here and then be a, you know, then be a chauvinistic person over here. Don't say you got to curb racism and then walk around with a sombrero, you know, when it comes time to play KOF, you know, and then come off as if you are here to save the universe. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, the clickish shit is fine as far mm. as, you know, you got your tight knit group of people. But there's got to be some intermingling. You yeah. know, in order for this to work, you know, you know why Japan always bodies us? Because we're too busy going East Coast, West Coast. When we should be going, yo, give us the five best players of the fucking United States. Put them up against the five best players of Japan. Make it an Olympic type thing. Instead of, you know, these cliques where you turn around 
and you say, all right, you know what, let's see if the East Coast can beat the West Coast, and then eventually we'll have a match where Justin plays Daigo, and that'll be hype for the umpteen time, you know. Um, instead, you know, stop, you know, and Sanford says it all the time, guys need to step up. You know, the guys that aren't the well-known guys, there ain't nothing wrong with turning around and going up to Sanford or, or, or you know, to Justin and say, hey, look, you know, I've seen both of them in action at tournaments, talking to players and saying, look, you know, hey, you know, Justin, you know, I use Rufus, what do I do here, here, here? He will tell you. Mm -hmm. He ain't one of these that go, no, man, that's top secret. I have to kill you if I tell you. He ain't one of those people. You know, yeah. and and but there are people that aren't at his level that aren't like that. They're the ones that are going, no, I can't tell you nothing. Or they'll tell you the completely opposite of what to do. Just so they yeah. can they can hold on to that number thirty two spot. I remember that happening to me when I was younger. When we used to go to the arcades, but yeah, that's yeah. You know, the US scene needs to actually unite. And how it's going to unite, I don't know. I don't know. Because you know what? So many people pretend they want to grow the scene, but they don't want to unite it. You can't do one without the other. I'm pretty sure this has been the question since the dark ages, and we just still haven't found an answer. But the problem is nobody's trying to fix the problem. They're worried about girls that are wearing schoolgirl uniforms at eSports Gaming Network. Which now, ironically, is gone, thanks to the criers. Yeah. But again, like I said, I hope those people that cried are going to put a donation drive to give those girls jobs because you cost them their jobs. But motherfuckers don't think that. They think they did some good white knight deed. But you cost five girls their jobs. I just don't see how anybody can find something wrong with that. That, that shit is that shit is beyond me. Right. And, uh, I don't. I don't see how somebody even even pointed that out. Out of all things, stuff like that has been around TV shows, gaming shows, reality oh. shows for I mean the better part of since you know TV was around. But it's not right. Yeah. It's not right to have women dressed up like that and spinning a wheel and and walking guys around. It's so male chauvinistic. It's like, come on. But but, but I, I guess they didn't watch the um the the Tech and Tag Tournament World Tournament. Oh, uh, I did. Where where they had girls, you know, in in Korea, Seoul, Korea, doing the same fucking thing, but they didn't complain then, though, did? No, nope. not for no. tournaments, not for like Pax East or any Comic Con. Like, no, they don't they don't say anything then. Mm -hmm. Or the NBA or the NFL. Oh, wait, right. didn't Pax get in trouble for the the women that they had there? And then they said they're gonna make a center for uh, where like quote unquote. All people could meet up, and then people started. Oh, well, that's messed up too, because then you're seeing you're like focusing everyone in a little area. I remember they got in trouble too with PAX. I think it was Penny Arcade. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but I remember that they got heat for that, and then they tried to fix it, and they still got heat for it by saying, "Well, then you're segregating everyone to one place." So yeah, I don't. Well, isn't isn't that because Penny Arcade took like a rape joke way too far though, and they started putting like merch of said rape joke? Oh, I have no clue. I had just read it on Destructoid, and I just seen where people were going nuts about. But then again, you see people going nuts about everything. But I, yeah, I'm not sure if it was that or not. That's but why yeah. you should. That's why you should just do what the fuck you do, and just don't worry about what, what others do. If it turned a few people away, then fuck them. See, yeah. but now, but now, hold on a sec, because over in the stream, I see guys saying that those girls made gamer girls look bad. They're not there to play. Right. It's you know they're they're a, they're models that were hired to basically escort guys back and forth and spin a wheel. Yeah. You know, so it's like let me add Mr. Fifth in here, um, but you know, it's like they knew what they were getting into. They uh -huh. filled out the application. Mm -hmm. They didn't turn around and go. You know, I was on a trip. You know, this wasn't, what's that movie, Taken, where they showed up on a vacation in Germany and, the you know, the eSports Gaming Network doped them up and dragged them in and shackled them in chains and said, you will right. parade them around or we'll inject you with heroin. Mm -hmm. You know, they knew what they were doing. They're models. 
And yeah. what do models do? They model. And niggas was complaining about fine ass women. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm surprised. I'm surprised they didn't complain about the dog. <laughs> The treatment of the dog. How dare they let a dog walk around on stage? That's disgusting. I thought it was. I thought it was really cool. And, and I'll tell you this: my only complaint about the whole esports gaming network thing, and it's a constructive criticism, not a take something away, is the crowd sound, which we all know is fake, did not fit the studio's atmosphere. Like, you know how, like, sometimes you get, like, small office cheers and then you get auditorium cheer and stadium cheer? It was like they put a stadium cheer for an 8x8 room and the echo and the reverb to it was just too, it, it gave off too much of a fake sound to it. <clears throat> but overall, I thought that, the, the, I think the whole, you know, um, the whole esports gaming network thing is a positive thing for this community and yet mm. we still have people fucking trying to push it away and break its balls i thought that shit was tight i did too and a lot of people did and that's and what's messed some, up I, man I, I saw i thought i saw ultra david say something about it like he was complaining yeah, he, about something yeah he and white I was knighted like, what? about the girls he white knighted about the what girls. said that they're they're they're, they're untreated they're treated unfairly okay they're getting a paycheck so it's not the right there's pretty fair here. And I'm sure they were getting a pretty good paycheck, you know. But apparently, you know, I, I'm, I'm assuming that David is going to reach out to all of those girls and pay their salary. Ah, oh, man. We need some, man. I'm a, I, I need to make me a cheerleader team, man. Shit. Shit, I put an OBS cheerleader squad together. That'd Fuck that. Tight. Yo, you James, know, I, I, get some fine-ass white girls. I mean, I've, I've been talking about Thank the you. porn for <laughs> I think, I think I might get some cap, man. Porn for a team. No. OBS, OBS twerk team. That's it. No, we're going to have yeah, the OBS uh, twerk, and we're going to do battle with that Russian twerk team. You ever see that shit, that video? Yeah, no, them yeah. girls be going in. <laughs> oh, shit. Look, man, because I'm going to get my own twerk team. OBS can get their twerk team. You know, then we could do porn OBS battle. We'll twerk off. Oh my <laughs> A god. A twerk off. Aw, oh, shit. So, <laughs> live streamed. You know, <laughs> tell the FGC nerds they don't get no ass. Bring some singles. <laughs> Man, nah. and, Man, and, back and, and whatever comes in obviously goes towards the corporation of IRL. Definitely. Definitely. You know? Definitely. You know, well, what? What makes a nigga want to wake up in the morning and say, I'm just not going to wash my ass? I don't know. I have no idea. I, I mean, probably. Hey, you know, I'll tell you why it happens. Partially. Not all, because some of them are just dirty-ass motherfuckers. Um, partially it happens because when you have 13 guys in a room and you got to be up at 8 o'clock in the morning to play, you ain't all getting up at 4 in the morning to start taking showers. So those last four or five guys that are lingering in the room are like, you know what, maybe I'll just take my deodorant and go right up the crack of my ass with it and I'll pass with that. And that's all and that's their shower. Man, I I used to get my ass whooped for not taking a shower. What? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was I'm gonna say. Ass beaten. If I was a kid, if we didn't take a shower, our grandma would come in and throw us in cold water and she didn't care if it was dead or winter. That's how it was, and we learned to take a shower. Kids. That's what I don't understand. It's gross. It is nasty. It is nasty that people yeah. don't shower. That's that's why I'm like, you know, my 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 general policy is like four room, man. Maybe 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 we can do. We might be able to do six, but like four to six a room, man. We, we, I mean, not necessarily because of space, because of shit like that, though. Because of like bathroom time and stuff like that. You know, you got pools nine, ten in the morning. You know, we probably out at the titty bar. You know, to the Lord knows how long the night before or whatever, just doing whatever we do on, on Friday night. I mean, everybody not might not be getting up at, at 8 o'clock just to fucking get ready for pools. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's the way I see it. It's best to have like four, five, maybe six people in the room and shit. You know, for the people that put like 12 people in a room, God bless them. You know, that, I can never do that shit. Random dude sleeping by the lamp and shit. Sleeping under the desk. 
<laughs> in, in the tub and shit. Up, sleeping, all right, sleeping in the tub and shit, man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but it, it happens, man. It happens. It does. You know. The most, the, most, the most we had in the room was eight. We had eight in the room at, at that final round I was talking about, final round 11. But that's because we had, like, some super executive fucking gigantic but this huge fucking room like it was it was it was ridiculous and yeah, if you uh, get a suite if you get like the corporate suite or something all right but you yeah. know these guys are getting like because they you know one guy's like yeah i'm only gonna get a single bedroom and they get one bed and then everybody else is fucking sleeping on the anwar sleeping in drawers and closets Fucking guy got a fucking the, the bath towel wrapped around his ass crack without even washing, sleeping on the floor of the bathroom. Yeah. You said. Motherfucker sleeping behind the TV. You know, guys, like you said, guy under the desk, a guy on the desk, a guy That's sleeping with the light actually sticking up his ass. And I'm going, what the fuck? You know, and then you, and then, and then you go, hey. why does Big E change his events all the time? You know what they remind me of? Remember, uh, remember that Dr. Seuss book, Go Dog Go? Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> shit, but the dogs are all sleeping in the fucking room. <laughs> I seen three niggas in one bed at Evo. I couldn't believe it. Listen, ain't nobody in my bed unless you're a girl. I don't care. It ain't nothing to do with sexuality. There ain't nobody in my bed unless you're a girl. My puppy in my bed. He's cool though. Okay, I'll give you a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> right now he's sleeping on my lap and he's like dreaming his little paws are kicking everywhere. It's crazy. Okay, that's kinda cool, you know, but yeah. don't get me don't get me showing emotion here. <laughs> <laughs> you we know, had a fucking, uh, we had a suite at a summer jam, um, which was the Marvel Money Match room. Uh, I I got them a suite. I don't know how many of them was was in there, but I ordered like three roll offs. I ordered three roll offs. They had a pull out bed, and they had the the bed in the back. So I think it might have been like seven of them up there. Um, but yeah, that was that was. But shit, uh, the amount of roll offs and shit we had, I think we had way way more space actually. Yep. You know, so I mean. <laughs> Guys, you know, you go to an event with your boys, do yourself a favor, just do four to a room, five, six tops. You know, mm -hmm. James, you'd have C.D. Jr. C.D. Jr. sleeps at the front of my bed. He sleeps at the head of my bed like where my dog would sleep. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I mean, you know, other things is, is you know, again, I, and I've said this and, I, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll say it with you here. I would leave my kids with Adonis before I would leave it with 90% of the fucking people in this FGC. You know, and I hear people break his balls all the time. Oh, you know, they're so gangster. They're so nigger. You know, I mean, the fucking thread, <laughs> the thread on, and, and, and you know damn well you generated that. You, you were the reason why that thread was generated. All niggers should be banned from FGC. What? Reddit and Reddit. Reddit and Reddit allows that to be up there. Yeah, is that Damn. not monetized at all, or, 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 or maintained at all? And it, you know, it's funny that it was people that that thought it, that I was posting on Reddit, and they kept saying, "Yeah, okay, Adonis." I'm like, I'm <laughs> reading this shit like, like that's not me. Like, this shit, like this shit is hilarious. I'm like, all right, because I still I still don't even know what the fuck Reddit is. Like, like. That and that. What, what, are they, what are the people say? Coke. Neo Gaff. Neo Gaff. Coke. What, what's that? What's Kotaku. that site that starts with Kotaku. a K? Kotaku. 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 Oh, yeah. I have no idea what the fuck those websites are. Like I don't. I, I mean, the no only clue. time I've ever gone to these is when somebody says, "Yo, Jimmy, did you see this article about you or this about you?" Yeah, yeah. Like I've seen, I've seen articles mm -hmm. about us on Kotaku, or whatever. Like first corn member with a car, and they got like a picture of like Seth Hill on there or some shit like that. And it's like, I don't. It's it's funny because we all have cars, you know. It's it's it's, it's hilarious. See, but it's cute though. I no, you know what? It's cute. I like it because I like I like the I like the thought. I like the people that think are thinking about us. You know, I love it. I love I love it. I love attention, whether it's negative or positive. You know. So, 
Fuck the, it. That's the way I am. I'm like, I'm, exactly. I'm like, yo, if you want to turn around and call me a cancer to the community, go ahead. But just understand two very important things. You can eat my dick, and I ain't ever going nowhere unless I decide to. You exactly. cannot get rid of me. And exactly. I, if you're going to call me a cancer, then consider me the cancer that's going to run through your whole fucking body. That no matter how much chemo and radiation you do, I'm like that pimple that'll just pop back up. Oh, oh, you missed me. Yeah. I ain't and going nowhere. What you know where I'm going? Fifty. Fifty is my mark. Fifty years old is my mark where I'm saying maybe I'll stop. You you're not gonna stop, James. I know. I'm yeah. just giving him I'm just giving him something to look forward to and then when that day comes I'm gonna go, wah wah, I lied. Cause, Cause I think thirty was supposed to be my mark. Thirty, I was supposed to be done. Yeah, yeah thirty was my mark too, apparently. Yeah, yeah, thirty was my mark. Then forty was. Yeah. Your mark for what? Stopping games. Stopping. Uh, eventually, listen. Eventually, it happens. You know, eventually it does happen. But no, you eventually just slow down. Yeah, but a minute, I slow you, down. you have slowed down over the years. I have slowed down, yes. I, I, I admit it also myself. I have slowed down over the years also, and I'm 33 now. You know, but I'm actually looking to pick up. I'm actually going to, and Adonis will like this. I'm actually better. I'm, I'm getting ready to roll back into the Tekken scene. Oh, shit. Uh, you know, nah, nah, I, I, they, you know they, Paul they can't handle you over the, Paul and, they Paul and Lee is going to be my Tekken. team. I'm, Paul and Lee is going to be my team. They, You know, they can't handle a guy like you over in Tekken, man. I don't know, man. You're going to have them little kids. Running and screaming and shit, man. That's no problem. I just make sure that daddy's there to pick him up. <laughs> you know, but I mean, that's it. And I'm, and I'm trying Marvel. But I'm not having much success in Don't. Marvel. Don't do that. Yeah. I've been playing it. I've been playing it. But I mean, you know, I was talking to Yipes and I'm like, listen. I said, here's my problem. I was also talking to F-Champ about it. I'm like, listen, my problem is I play each character in the game that I use on my team as individuals. Mm-hmm. Not as a team. But I'm like, all right, I'm going to use Wolverine. When Wolverine's dead, Morgan's coming in. When Morgan's done, there's Doom. I uh, know a sis. I see what you mean. I don't use the sis. I don't you know use what? the... But you know what? That actually that actually builds uh, stronger fundamentals, though. Mm-hmm. And, and if, it, it, you know, for a couple of people that I've played online, yes, I actually played this game online. Why? I just, that's all I had. Um, it threw them off because they were waiting for me to juggle, 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 and I'm like, nah, I don't do that, juggle, juggle. I want, I want to juggle you to a point and and purposely let you drop because you think I'm going to continue to juggle. So you've already let go of your control and you're like, ah, right, he's going to just fucking kill me. No, I want you to suffer. I want you to see me hit you every fucking hit. That's called dropping combos. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. More of an uncon- <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not because I can do I can I can do you know thirties and forties. I don't do them. I'll do a fifteen, and it's I'll actually, the J effect. You know, and, and it's and it and it works because they they expect you to do this big ass combo, and I'm saying I'm not gonna. Even if I could kill somebody like that, I don't want to, because to me, killing a guy with an infinite is a bitch move. So, so you're making your own kind of resets now. No, so new just, tech. It, it, it's not new tech. It's playing a game the way a game was probably originally really designed. <laughs> you know, it's it, it's just it, it's a a regular reset if you want to call it anything. <laughs> new tech. The, there you go. You know, <laughs> but I mean the I, unconventional reset. It's the OBS <laughs> reset. It's the OBS <laughs> reset. OBS reset. <laughs> That's a gamer tag. OBS reset. That's tight. That is. But, you know, it's like they, that, you know, you look at the way, you know, all these games now get played. Everybody's got, like, you know, I watched, uh, what's his name? Fighting GM. You know, hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. And I'm like, wow, in Tekken you're hitting and running? Like, I forgot what happened with just getting your face in. Like, when I played guys at Defend the North, I used Paul and I just smashed the shit out of you. And I was and I, and I lead in with an OBS reset because I would go in I would go into my ten string and stop six you know six hits in on purpose to break it up. Hey, we got colorful resets on the on the chat. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, so I mean, oh yeah, look at that OBS reset. <laughs> Woo! So you know, it's it's like. 
guys need to stop looking for everybody else's, you know, everybody uses one tech, you know, and they say, all right, let me just, let me see what Justin does, and I'm just going to try to mimic that. That's why this yep. scene is so fucking boring. Because yep. your motherfuckers pick one character, and, you know, guys broke my balls, and I don't think James understands Tekken. I understand Tekken. Wait, people use 10 hits? Yes, I still use a 10 hit. You know, but again, like I said, I stop it midway through. Um, you know, and then I'll come in with that fucking overhand. I just like to punch your fucking face into the ground as much as possible. <laughs> when you're on the ground, I'll kick you in the nuts. I'll do whatever I can to win. I'll counter you. I'll sit and counter you all day. You know, I play like Tekken 3 and Tekken 4. Well, Tekken 4 is when they started doing that fucking, that bouncing off the wall bullshit. Um, yeah. that, that wrecked the game in my opinion. In my opinion, the, the, the juggles like that off the wall were like, eh, that made it stupid. And then like, with... Yeah, you know, four, four is the only one that you can tech roll off the wall. Yeah. Um, any, anything after four, you couldn't tech off the wall. It was, anything on the wall was guaranteed after four. Now the I game, like now the game's in here saying he fucked me up, but now the game has to admit... But did I beat you for a guy who hasn't touched Tekken since Tekken 4? That's all that matters. And you're a top player. So you got to hold that, and that's reality. And you're a top player? Well, He's a down. top New Yorker. <laughs> I'm just fucking. <laughs> I'm just fucking. But, you know, I mean, a lot in this scene has to change. And it's not going to change if people think that a small group of West Coast people know what's best for the scene. Yeah, that's true. You know, and that's and 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 that's the thing that um, you know people got to kind of understand that. I just you, you know I I know what you're saying. You're, you're basically saying um, I, I know exactly what you're saying. You're talking about um, elitism. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the the elite shit has got to end. It's not That's attractive. True. I mean, look at everybody's looking for investors and sponsors. Well, every city that we hold events in, is there not a Marriott there? Pretty much. Yep. Mm. We have a Marriott, yeah. You know, yeah. Every, most major cities have a Marriott there. Why aren't you guys all uniting <clears throat> as TOs? And reaching out to Marriott and say, look, you know, don't just give us a deal for, you know, Big E's event. Give me a deal for Big E's event. Give me a deal for, for Larry's event. Give me a deal for John and Joe's event. Give me a deal for, you know, Alex Vi's event. That's why the TOs really got to start working on fixing their stuff, too. It's not only, you know, it's not only the, the, the players. Yeah, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of just freelance shit, man. Everybody's just it's just freelancing. It's really, it's just no, it's it's really no structure right now. That's all it is. You know, but where does structure come from? from yeah. the, it's going to come from the community because the community, as much as you don't want to think you make an impact, you know, you dictate to the tournament organizers what they should do. You know, if you go to an event like, say, UGFT, and you feel like they shit on your scene, and you approach the person and say, look, you know, I don't, you know, I didn't like the way this went, and they basically say, fuck off, you know, don't go to that event again, you know, yeah. but at, you, you need to take those steps, though, and actually say, let me talk to the tournament, or don't just say... You know, oh, he, he didn't do what we wanted. He don't give a shit about us. They legitimately, you know, somebody like Big E legitimately is all over the place trying to do shit. If he doesn't cater to you this one time, it isn't because he says, well, fuck you in your game. He's occupied with other shit. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, that's a whole other thing is the TO's got to, you know, look to grow sponsorship within themselves Man, instead I, of just I, for players. I wish we had that many fucking tournaments in our fucking region, man, in the Midwest, man. God yeah. damn. Definitely so died many. off in like the past four years, dude. <clears throat> I, I miss season. I think I miss season beatings the most. Like, that was my shit. Mm -hmm. 
I miss fucking season beatings. Man. I, I wish we could go ahead and use the, the same venue for Ascension. That, that venue was actually really nice, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually was. Yep, it, it actually was. It was, it was really mean, nice. Chris Galley and, uh, uh, went from uh, Guy Like Entertainment. He actually changed it to GDL Entertainment. He's looking for he's looking for doing like actual like general gaming events, um, not as much on the major scale, but maybe like regional. So I'll I mean we should probably hear some more information from him about that. But other than that, I don't think there's gonna be any of that anytime soon. I remember when Galleon was just a damn third strike player. <laughs> for he had anything to do with any tournament, anything. It was like. Used to, uh, Fuji used to like try to get him and um, Alucard to play third strike. That's when I first met Fuji. Yeah. See now, clock up in in the Ustream chat. You know, the FGC talking to a TO equals yelling and cursing at the TO. You're right. With a lot of these people, that's what it is, and that's what's got to stop. You know, yeah. you can't just go to a TO and say this needs. You know, I mean, again, I know people. You know, and I and we disagree on this, and that's fine. It's my opinion. I don't give a fuck if you know my first round is against Natus. Oh well, we're, 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 we we do a show together. So what? Eat a dick. I'm playing you first round. This mentality of of you know people feeling like they get preferential choices. Well, I train with this guy. Well, then you should be able to beat him and move to the next round, no problem. If you beat him. You know, I understand. If corn versus corn is the first round, guess what? That's what it is. Yeah. You know, well, you know, they don't come all the way across the country to... No, they came all the way across the country to play a game and compete. Mm. So whether it's, you know, if anything, I'd be like, yo, you know what? My first three matches against three corn guys and, you know, we train together and I whoop their asses all the time. Okay. Shit, I'm in top eight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, you don't get that. You get, well, no, uh, you know, me and Billy, we've been playing together, you know, for 16 years. And, you know, and, you know, it's Mr. Probability said it. That arcade mentality is gone. Man, I remember they even had fucking loser brackets back in the day, man. I remember you used to go across the country and lose one time and you were done. <laughs> See, we, we did it different. Like I said, we would have buybacks. Yeah, I remember that. I so remember ten dollars to enter the tournament, you get knocked out after one round. Twenty dollars, you can get back in. You lose another yeah. round, you win, but it's more money into the pot. Yeah, it was it was like that at the um, at a uh, Midwest Championships way back. That's you know? not a bad idea. I like that, you know. But now keep in mind, with a game like Marvel or Smash, where you're getting you know two, three, four, five hundred people, seven hundred people playing a game. It can be quite fucking tedious, but now at the same time, you also got to look at the caliber of player. You know, you're not going to see everybody put money back in and do a buyback, especially if they're sitting there and they're not that confident they're getting to top eight anyway. So, you know, the only people that will really be doing it are the people that are already normally top players. So, you know, if, you, if you're doing Marvel and it's like, you know, me, Natus, you know, uh, Justin, Chris G, well, odds are if I accidentally, by luck, lightning strikes me in the ass and I knock Chris G out, damn straight he's buying his ass back in because he knows he's getting one of two spots. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's it, and at the same time, it's a way to increase the money. You know, yeah, the big the big the big dollars that all these people are looking for, you know, it gives you a way to increase that money. You know, so I mean it could work if done the right way. Oh shit. Everybody go wish Kerry everybody go wish Kerry Hoskins, aka Sonya, a happy birthday. It's a birthday right now? It's a birthday now, yeah. Damn, there's so many people birthday on February. Yeah, I noticed that too, man. It's such a small month, short month. I had my birthday, dog. Nigga then turned 21. Well, actually, that's just telling you, wait a second. Let me figure this out for my, my yeah, own brain here. Shit. I got NES cartridges over there. And an update on my Facebook for her. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shit. <coughs> what do we got? One, two, three. Fucking cocksucker. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means there's a lot of people knocking boots in June to be born in February. And yeah, beginning of the summer? Beginning oh, of the shit. summer. Everybody's smashing. Oh, my God. I used the word smashing. Uh-oh. Here comes a fucking feminist group to come after me. Um, making love. Pro get him, procreating. Get him. Procreating. procreating. Hey, Tricky, what happened to that picture? I like that one. I, I oh, wish the would have come after me, man. I wish, man. <laughs> I just don't I understand. Wish. What's that? I don't understand those types of people. Like, I don't get it. It's like, it's like, see, what's the word? The actual word this time. Um, the. White Knights? They just take things the wrong way. And they make an excuse of why what one word you say like is so terrible. So it's like like for instance, it's like what you just said, smashed or whatever. It's like oh uh so many people smashed during June and it's like okay, smash is slang. Uh I won't go how dare you you smash? You should be saying like, Oh, you guys made love. Oh, and then if you say smashed again, we're going to, like, report you some s crap. I'm like, why are people wasting their times getting mad about all this crap? I just never understand why they make it so out of control. And it's just... You can't say nothing no more. No, For you real, can't. you can't say anything. You can't, I, like, you can't say nothing. <laughs> again, you can't it's say just... anything. And it's just like, I mean, sure, I've been sitting here quiet this whole time. But, like, I mean... It's like on the internet, everyone's cops. Anything you say could be used against you. Uh, even whatever the rest of the crap is. I don't even know. All I know is it's just like anything like nowadays. Because it's like the internet, they get data or whatever info. Or info. I count a flag the other day on Facebook because I referred to a Smash Brothers as a fag game. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say fag. But... Um, <laughs> I referred to it as a game that I didn't like in an inappropriate way for some I guess. And uh, my account was flagged and I couldn't post or do anything for like a day. Damn. I was like, wow, I posted a comment on somebody that I know status. I guess retarded. Taking the internet too, too oh, Wait a minute. Days. I didn't I didn't mean to say retarded. I mean special it was, needs. See, you have to be careful nowadays. See, people are watching you can't say shit. Special you wait, wait, wait. Can't. It's very special needs. Mm. Yeah. That's the proper. That's the proper term. But then, yeah. what I don't understand is like, if I say, it, if I say, "Hey, hey, this this bitch got smashed the other day. Oh man, you should have seen it." Like, people, are like, oh, okay, you said it. They like, it's bitch, okay. Bitch, they like bitch or shut the fuck up. I saw that. Uh, I read a fucking article a day about how they were trying to have a uh, uh, League of Legends tournament strictly for women and how it's gonna like. Ruin the on, game structure. In fact, you know what? Hold on. Let me do this. I'm going to add Abe. Cool. You know what's funny? And, and I, I, I want to talk about that that specific article. Yo, Abe, read that article. I'm not going to read it. I hope you can read and you don't have a fucking uh, a third grade reading level. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> Abe, what are you jerking off the porn? Yeah. Oh, you leather ass. How do you know I got a leather ass? Because you're pretty fucking old, man. It don't matter. Shit. Like I said, first the women, first Shit. the women, first the women come to you boys, and then they come to us men. Just remember that they they play with the boys, but they want to stay that, with the men. That daddy complex, it's all good. That's nothing wrong with that. Uh, read, read that article. Not to yourself. <laughs> no, I want I want you because I can't because I gotta go take a piss. Oh my god! So this is you don't, rip, rip, you don't want to. I now will. let's see. Wait, let's see who can actually know this. Who knows what riff is? Some game? No. Riff. I just I I was said the same thing. I don't know. Yeah, like... <coughs> Adonis, you don't remember riff? The commercial. Ed Asner from Mary Tyler Moore. I know you're asking nope. as old as mine. Not you. You're like a baby. <laughs> damn. You're too damn old. I, I, none of us know what the fuck you're talking about. Reading is uh, fundamental. You don't remember that? 
No, we remember the Hooked on Phonics commercials. Hooked on Phonics. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hooked on Phonics. <laughs> anyway, either way, that somebody read sick. that article about the League of Legends girl thing, and I got to go take yeah, a Yeah, this committee makes our committee and all the bad shit we say look like some man, choir boy shit. Not, yeah, yeah our, man, our, this FGC shit, our, the shit that we say is not on any amount. Of, it's not on no level of anybody. And these are the people that oh, got money. Or in the League of Legends community. These niggas take it to a level. Like, I would... X-Factor like, level 3. Nigga, OD. Uh, niggas take it too damn far. With these women comments. But I'll see if I can find this article. I have it. I'm going to post it in the chat. Damn. Damn a, damn a women... Uh, all women's... Tournament? Uh, yeah, I know. Like, damn. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, do I mean, do girls really want that though? They, I know, cause uh, last time we had or the episode we t- talked to a few girls, they were like, no, because then you're segregating us from the the group. Why do we want to be by ourselves? That makes no sense. And but didn't see, they want to be about... their, their own separate group on Facebook? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like. like why would you separate yourself like that? I mean, that's counterproductive to the idea of all coming together as one. Yeah. yeah like, you know. are, are, are people that fucking sensitive? Like, they really got to be by themselves like that? Well, well, nowadays. I, I made a statement on Facebook, and I'm sticking with it. I said if, if they do have an all-women's tournament um, league for fighting games, um, I am Keane's pro-ho. Just, you know, <laughs> <going on>. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Everybody know I am her her head monster. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, just letting everybody know. You know. Hey Godzilla, yeah. is that your little puppy? Yeah, actually, I was gonna say I have to get offline. I gotta take my cousins to school in the morning. But yeah, that's my puppy. I was gonna say he's awake. If y'all wanna see him, I gotta go though. Throw the video on, man. I wanna see the puppy. I haven't had a puppy on here since uh, Derp Tile. Hey, was this the guy with the uh, that went to Ultra Arcade? Yes. See, Yo, that's what that I was gonna. Shit say. was tight. Yeah. See, that's what I was gonna say too. My friend, she was scared to go to Ultra Arcade. She was like, "Well, what if people get rowdy and this and that?" I go, "Well." Well, like, we used to go to the same arcade as kids, and I told her, do you remember when the kids would fight over Mortal Kombat 4? And she said, yeah, and they would throw them out. Like, the guy would grab them and throw them out. I go, it's supposed to be a family place, so I'm sure they'll... But it was like kumbaya there. But, yeah, oh, she... I mean, San Antonio scene's pretty chill. All right. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty sick. I didn't get to go, because... Here he is. I... Sleeping. I don't have no money. <laughs> don't give him shaking baby syndrome. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have a cat, man. Cats are cats are better, man. Cats yeah. are cool. Cats are cool, but dogs are so and so are fucking guinea pigs. I used to have a <laughs> guinea pig. I love guinea pigs. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do over with my fucking guinea pigs now because I'm not. I'm, I gave her my, my my ex my house. Damn. So she got enough food to feed her baby for a while. Damn. Yeah, tell me about it. She had the baby? Yeah, she had a daughter. Did you get a test done yet? For what? I know it's his. I mean, I know I'm godlike, but I'm not God. So in order for me to procreate, I actually, pardon my French there, uh, Tricky, but I actually got to stick it in. So if uh, I didn't, was, was she claiming it was yours at smash. one point in time? It, 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 we didn't smash. So therefore, if I didn't smash for nine months, unless she's you know like an elephant that has to wait you know two years or whatever the hell it is, then maybe you know, <laughs> then it could be mine. So is she claiming it's not yours now? No, it's not mine. She's leaving the country. But, okay, so she's claiming it's not yours anymore. No yeah, she stopped that. Okay. Damn. That's why I was asking, because remember you told me that, you know, she was claiming it was yours. I told her, how can I get you pregnant when I only put it in your ass? I <laughs> think. <laughs> nah, um, hey, it, was, it, was, it was no problem. She, we, we, we've gotten our agreements. And, okay. And it's, it's as civil as it can be. So but, your divorce is final now? No, it's still in the process. I've heard her trying to take all your shit. Nah, she ain't trying. What's she taking? My computer? I don't know, my, man. My kick-ass basement apartment? The cars? 
you're going to take what? Fucking a, a, a 20-something thousand dollar Jeep? If that's what you really think when you, you can't take it out of the country till the shit's paid off. <laughs> and she's leaving at the end of the month. Oh, you must be glad. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, your stream is 707953. I get a free t-shirt if I go on Maury. <laughs> That's just what I want. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, James. I could go to Winter Brawl, too, man. You should come, man. I, I don't know. Um, I have to take two days off of work, though, man. Fuck that. Yeah, no. Getting paid is more important. I got a question. Um, Just talk about getting paid. What, what's everybody's thoughts about the Virgin Gaming with the whole Street Fighter 4 good thing going on oh, right I now? I saw about that. That was tight. Let's see what happens. I have, I have, it's all right. I really I wish it supported more platforms, though. I'm sorry I cut you off there, bro. No, I was going to say, I haven't read it. What is it about the Virgin? It's, it's basically how, like, game battles were, but it, it's actually uh, partnered with Capcom to, you know, Money Match and Street Fighter Online for, like, what, like, Xbox and PlayStation, right? Yeah. I'm, um, like, I'm like, that's kind of dumb. Like, why wouldn't you also do it for, like, PC? Or, I mean, like, there's a considerable amount of players on it. Does PC people hack? If they did that shit for Marvel... Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, Marvel's I'm on surprised it didn't do Marvel. That shit's unplayable online, so like... <laughs> I know. That's, that's the beauty of it. I mean, I'd still but sign are, up for are, it because... Are, are the Money Masters just one game? I, I, I was kind of confused. I was watching Arturo's stream earlier about that. I wasn't too sure. Um, actually, I think I it's know. one and done. I think. One and done? I think. Let me, let me go read. So... So playing fighting games online for money, okay. Oh man, people do that uh, for Call of Duty. So I mean, hey, that's called. But now Duty. they got like a legal way of actually doing it. If that's even le yeah. that's actually legal. No, it's it's legal. It's par it's actually partnered with Capcom. So. I mean, but Capcom isn't higher than like regular law. Oh yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. If it's actually legal, because isn't that considered illegal to do that? Isn't that considered betting? Again. Gambling? I don't so, even know. I ain't gonna it's, a, it's a borderline thing, right? I, I think it's a borderline thing because uh, we've visited that thing, that sort of uh, dilemma before, like maybe like a year ago, uh, uh, yeah, a year or so ago. So I don't think there was like a straight verdict on that. But All right, Zach MK saying it's best of three. Oh, you can set the match rules? Okay. Hey, hey, James. Yeah. What type of what type of rules and regulations does you stream have, man? I'm pretty uh, pretty liberal there, man. They can do whatever I want. Okay. Because when I do when I do bring the corn twerk team to life, you know, I'm you know. We're not a, the, the you stream is not just gaming related. It's okay. anything goes. Yeah. 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 yeah, we can't put that twerk the twerk battle on Twitch. You get banned not again. Twitch. Not on Twitch. It might even be like Twitch affiliated channels because I know Justin TV they're strict against that also. Yeah. Oh yeah, Justin Justin TV pretty much is the same thing. But yeah, yeah. Like to go on, on UStream and sh and show off these you know the new talent. You know. That's <laughs> all that matters. You say yeah. And I bet you the first one watching will be Ultra David. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I can't shit. believe what Corn has done. And then, you know, send me a message. But yeah, I do like the one in the pink. <laughs> yeah, I'll just sound <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Is betting on people at EVO legal? Technically, no. It's, it's not sanctioned. It, listen, any betting where, where money's being exchanged is not illegal. It's not legal unless it's sanctioned by the state. Yeah, it's taxed, right? Yeah. I know yeah. we have... I know we have bingo here in the state of Texas, and people will go play there. And I know my brother's gone and won money there before, but they tax it. So, yeah. They killed OTB stations at, at fucking in Illinois. Damn, that's fucked up. I thought I thought that was legal everywhere. They actually they died. Actually, actually they were a Long Island based company, and they went belly up here. I don't bet on ponies anyway. Um. But, um, so, fifth, I'm assuming you went to the Ultra Arcade oh, as well. 
Oh no, nah, I didn't. I oh, wanted yeah. to. I wanted to so bad, man. Most of our community did. A yeah, good 80, 80, 90 percent of them went. Yeah. yeah, we had our we had our Street Fighter players go up there, and we had our uh, a good a good handful of our Marvel players go up there too. How many people went there all together? Apparently, like five hundred. It was actually bigger than they thought. Like they got overwhelmed. The place mm -hmm. is kind of small, but it turned out pretty good for the most part from what we hear. Well, like more than a hundred guys went there. Yeah. Yeah, you can say that easy, yeah, easy. Was, yeah, especially Texas community. I can, like, I can tell from like, I can tell from the stream that was showing it was pretty packed. Yeah, the stream. Uh, when I pulled up there at seven o'clock to get parking, there was at least three hundred people in the front. And what? Yeah, I was late for the tournament. Well, I had to go get money, and that's where my dad, dumbass, carry cash and not a <laughs> card. And so, rule number one, I learned: carry cash when you go to a tournament. And uh. So we had to leave. Well, I had to leave and find parking because the owner had told me because I talked to him. And he goes, yeah, they were going to give people tickets. So that's where I went four houses down, knocked on a lady's door and asked, can I park here? I was like, I'll give you 20 bucks. And she's like, no, you can park here for free. I was like, sweet. So I was covered. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So we came back on Sunday and then that's where we came in. Uh, it was $5 all day. Get a wristband. We brought our own controllers. The guy had uh, one of the owners or one of the workers. He goes, oh, you brought you brought y'all's own controllers? Like, yeah. He goes, oh, sweet. So I, I know. just didn't know people bring their own controllers. Uh, I think they were saying about it. But like my friend, she had it with some special edition GameCube controller. And she was like, well, what if someone tries to steal it? I go, it'll be fine. Just we put our names on our controllers. But uh, I know that she was worried. Like she uh, she's kind of like she likes to stay inside. But uh, we took her and she had a fun. So. And then everyone was there was really cool. So, I mean, I liked it. I got my ass kicked a lot. And I won a few matches, but it was fun. I don't mind going and paying money to go and play. So, well, let me let me just yeah, I'm so free, you're right. I don't bet on the ponies, I clopped them. Um, and then the other one is I clopped them. My my dick is 4 <laughs> inches it wants to ask Adonis. Uh, I, I'm assuming Adonis because where is his question again? Cuz you know, he said, where the hell is he? The FGC is boring now. Is a tournament. Where the fuck is he? Got that weak stomach. How about tequila? Nah, Limbo, I can't do. I can do tequila, but I get violent. It says, James, ask the black guy from Detroit how he feels about strippers in the FGC. Would it grow? That'd be tight. Man, let me tell you something, man. If, man. I, could, if I can get some, some strippers to our room without even leaving the fucking venue that would just that would be all type of levels of great let me tell you because you know that's a that's a hassle man you know all driving all the way from the tournament tired as fuck sometimes you're too tired you know you can't even you know you feel like leaving the fucking tournament and shit like that if i had some strippers delivered directly to my room that would be uh what they call a uh, god life yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be god yeah. More ones, please. <sighs> yeah. Right. That'd be tight as fuck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, look, you know, again, it's it, going back to the treatment of women. Sex sells, dudes. Yeah. You know, yep. whether you want yeah. to admit wrong, right, uh, unjust or just, you know, the fact of the matter is if a woman knows, you know, hey, sex sells and I can make money off it and she's willing to, then so be it. More power to her. She's working. You know, her. I'm more concerned with a chick coming, knowing that, and then the scumbags that decide to grab her, you know, try to be some kind of Duke fucking type shit. You know, that's where I that's where I have a problem. You know, you know, you know I mean, our community is so. Uh, What's the word? Uh, naive to the real world because mm -hmm. they're, sh they're they're kind of sheltered to yeah. you know their their mom's basement as I'm in the basement, but it's not my mom's, and their hot pockets that they don't know how to act when they're in that situation. You know, again, tricky. Pardon my French, but you don't go up in there. You bring a girl to your place. You're just trying to stick your finger in her and do this and do that. And yet you try to act civil you and know you smash i mean if you can smash then you smash but, <laughs> <laughs> but 
Oh. But it's got to be, it's got to be mutual, you know, you can't, you know, that's the problem with our scene, is like, and I've said this, you know, I look at people in this scene, and I think of the movie The Accused, you know, with, with, with Jodie Foster, and, and guys just being so inept that they just make themselves turn into fucking assholes, you know, a girl comes to make a couple of bucks, let her make a couple of bucks. You know, it's not going to hurt our scene. You know, nobody ca I mean, nobody cared when Ronaldinho was picking up, you know, transgender porn, uh, trans transgender hookers in Brazil. They didn't go, oh, he can't play football no more because he was picking up trans. No, it's whatever floats your boat and tickles your pickle. Just keep it within you to yourself. You know, and that's and that's the biggest problem with this scene is nobody wants to keep shit to themselves. They want to, you know, they want to put it out on the front page. Oh, I tapped this girl. You know, and then that girl gets an asshole rep, and then she tells her friend, and they say they don't want to come nowhere. Who is this? Uh, you. Okay. You know, so, I mean, I think strippers would be a great thing. Hell yeah. Browser's booth at Evo. Preferably Asian. You know, and I saw, you know, I remember when Long Island Joe had the thing with Brazzers in a, in a possibility and the white knights of the community. I thought that shit was a joke. You know, no, that shit was legit. The white knights but, of the community. Yeah. How dare you bring, you know, we can't we can't no. allow you to play on stream. Why? No, no, I'm telling you. I'm, look, man, I'm, I'm trying to do corn bang bros, man. <laughs> oh wow! Bang, bro! Bring you a literal meaning to get fucked. <laughs> get fucked. Yo. Yeah. Like, about that all the time, but what is it? Because we use that cornbread, you know, for everything. Can you imagine going to bangbros.com slash that cornbread? Can you imagine that? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> your, your debut video put these balls in your mouth, and you just think. Oh, I feel <laughs> Shit. I'll start my porn career. <laughs> you know, I'm coming to the, every tournament with my shirt off. Oh yeah, For damn. <laughs> For real? Like, Did man. Joe do that one time? He like when Evo he like walked into the ballroom with like a towel. That's probably how he got the sponsorship. That's probably why Brad just wanted to fuck with him. Yeah, you know, and, and the fact that like you know, since so much money is pouring out of this scene. Why would they not want? Now, look, I understand this. Um, uh, if there was 13-year-olds and 12-year-olds, obviously. But, you know, they make it sound like the people that are involved in the porn business are, like, going to go running after 12-year-old kids first at a all, tournament. First of all, first of all uh, you, know what, you know what the porn business could do for fighting game numbers. All oh, you got to yeah. do is put a chick with a TE stick in the beginning of the porn, before she gets back. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> are you... But, but, Bannon, are you Justin Wang? Justin yeah. Wang? Justin <laughs> Wang. <laughs> Justin Wang. I'm here, to, I'm, here to, I'm here to give you your Street Fighter 4 lesson. Look, oh, watch, damn. Look, damn. watch you see all type of dirty-ass white men you ain't never seen before show up to the next major. <laughs> <laughs> Weird ass dudes and shit, like man. I, Got shit, the I guile see. theme in the video. Yeah, uh, I heard Mark. I heard uh, Mad Cats was gonna sponsor this uh, tournament, and uh, I saw that Mad Cats in the, this. Uh, yeah, the video. <laughs> Can you imagine what porn could do for the FCC? Man. If it's at Evo, then it's really all fair game because you're in fucking Vegas. What can you do about that? It's all fair they, game. They put the Street Fighter 4 sound effects in it. See, now, 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 again, here. This is something, this is something that, you know, because I see clock up on the Ustream chat saying, you know, serious though, there are a good number of kids in the FGC. I understand that, but you know what? These may be porn stars, but they're not idiots. Like, they wouldn't start sitting... That You're not going to get them to do a, a lesbian show in front of you. You know, they're not stupid. They might... But, but if they come up to the corner room, they can do the lesbian show. Um, just just a disclaimer. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but continue, James. You know, 
they're they're adults, and a lot of them are fucking mothers and fathers. So they're they're not stupid. They're not going to turn around and act a fool. Now you might set up a booth. Now, if little Billy comes over to the booth, well, the booth is going to be topped off with somebody at the front of the booth. You know, a kiss fucking Jasmine St. Clair booth or whatever. You know, and it would do phenomenal. It would definitely make numbers. It would definitely bring people to the scene. Dude. Okay. Yeah, people's no. dads actually come into the tournament. Yeah, he, so, well, yeah I won't come man. too. My motherfucking dad. My dad would be like, come on, Jimmy, let me take you to the fucking tournament, please. <laughs> be like, dad. <laughs> please. Dad, yeah. dad, 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 I'm 40 <laughs> years old. Imagine, imagine seeing me at final round passing out Bang Bros coupons, man. <laughs> Pass out three codes. <laughs> imagine that shit. You know? Uh, promo code, uh, suck on the corn cob. You know? Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know? Can you imagine that shit? Man. Type of shit, man. I mean, like, what other sponsors do you think that should be actually interested in this scene that could actually make an impact beyond, beyond the obvious? We already, we've gone over deodorants a million times. <laughs> we can't say that enough. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, let's see I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Preference? Yeah. You know, what? Down. you know what? Planet Fitness can make a killing. Hell yeah. Planet Fitness. Hell yeah. Killing in the FGC. Do you know? Do you know? I actually, when we had Leah Montalongo, aka Sindel, on the show, I actually put out an offer. To have people get a get free workouts for twelve weeks with her, and nobody. Like, whatever did, happened to that? Nobody did it. Really? <laughs> nobody did it. You could have Sindel. Basically, she. I mean, you're not. I mean, one person, Webster. I won't mention his name. Thought I was actually going to send them there to California. I'm like, yo, I'm I'm OBS. Only broke shit. I ain't sending your ass nowhere. You know, oh, God. he thought I was sending him to like, like, uh, you know, like one of these reality shows where I was going to actually like pay for like 10 guys to go to her house and get worked out and everything, you know, and then once that wasn't happening, he was like, eh, no, and that's what a lot of people said, you know, and then there was one guy that did, but what wound up happening was, uh, she got caught up with something and then she had to cancel it last minute. Um, but I mean, I put it out there and nobody took it. Nobody took no. it. I'm like, wow, you got a girl that's drop dead gorgeous, willing to give you a workout and try to make yourself a little bit fucking healthier and for free, for free. I wish I would have heard about that, James. Um, yeah, I definitely would have taken advantage of it. Yeah, I'm like, I, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna be like, yo, I could take advantage of that too, right? She's like, no, you're the host. I'm like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm, I got I to gotta get that Bang Bros sponsorship one way or another, man. Things will actually show up on time to their pools. Yep. Like, oh, shit, Gianna Michaels is doing my injustice pools? I think I'm going to show up at 9 o'clock in the morning. Just, just just sitting there waiting for her to call my name. <laughs> Why are we not getting any beer sponsorships? Because Damn. who wants to fucking... Actually, well, you had VXG did. They had Heineken. Oh, damn. They did? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice. All the fucked up things happened at that event. I didn't even notice they had a Heineken sponsorship. Yeah, they had a Heineken sponsorship. And then, uh, didn't somebody else? Oh, they also had Coors Light. They had both, Coors Light and Heineken. That's what's up. I mean, probably because you can drink on the island when you're 10 years old and shit. Exactly. So. You come out the womb with a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say at least more than half the FGC is over 21. Um, uh, no, I wouldn't go that nah. far. No, nah. no, really? I, I, no, I there's a good percentage, but not, not the majority. It, more I, of that's why like I said half. Queens. Nah, not half. Not even half. I mean, I mean, theoretically, yes. Theoretically. Maybe. I say yeah, 60, I, I 40. Say. 40 or 21 and up, and then everybody else is younger. 60. It is, there, there are a lot of kids that play. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah. There are a lot of kids born in like ninety five and ninety six and shit. It fucks me up every time, you know. When they come out. 
Like, yeah, I was born in 96. Like, that, you know, that completely fucks me up. Yeah, that, that. kind of fucks me up, too, because I'm like, I was already in a bar drinking legally by then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too cool with that. I'm, um... I'm going to, uh, my dick is four inches, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to final round, so you can watch me pee when I go to the bathroom. Damn. Is that, is that somebody's name? My, my dick is four inches, yeah. Wow. 